Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how you can practice your landings over and over again. There are several different ways you can do this but today we'll be looking at the easiest way and how you can do it. So without further ado let's get right into it. So first thing click on the world map and then zoom out a little bit. Then we're going to go to the aircraft selection and select the fly-by-wire A320, of course, as usual. Uh, oh, there it is. And then we're going to select the British Airways livery. Then we need to find an airport. So, uh, let's see. I think we'll go to the UK. Uh, so we'll scroll in on the UK. And uh, where do you think we should go? Um, maybe London. Uh, let's see. Ah, how about Luton? Yeah, we'll go Luton. So first thing you need to do is just click on the runway you want to arrive on and select uh, set as arrival. All this will do is it will set you to the local vicinity in a straight line directly towards the runway. Then go to the little drop down menu here on the top left and select low altitude uh, airways and then select the arrival that you want. So in this case the ILS for runway 07. Okay, that's fine. You just want a straight line towards the runway and then click fly. Alright, so you can see we've now loaded in and all you want to do is hit ready to fly and then immediately pause the sim we're using active pause, there we go so all you need to do first, there's a lot going on, so just clear the master caution uh, uh, warnings just to stop all the beeping and everything happening because the plane's a bit confused and then go to the speed and select manage speed select the auto throttle to on and put the thrust levers to climb there we go, and now we are in managed speed. So that's the first thing you want to do, very important to do that. Alright, so once you've done that, you just want to set the QNH, just put it to 1013, put the constraints on, um, then you just want to make sure everything's in the right position for landing. So landing lights on, flaps full, speed brakes armed, uh, and then you can turn the uh, brightness up of some of the displays if you want, if it's a bit too dark. Uh, put the auto brake to medium and uh, let's see that's uh, looking fine so yeah runway ahead and we can just put in the ILS frequency on the MCDU so go to the radnav page and put in the ILS frequency for Luton of 109.15 uh, there we go and then we come back and want to put the flight director and the ILS uh, button on. There we go, just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to select the approach and turn the autopilot 1 and 2 on. And then once you've done this you can unpause and let the aircraft fly the ILS. So as you can see here, Cat 3 dual approach, glide slope, lock, localizer effectively and um, yeah so everything's looking nice so just let the aircraft fly down and then turn the autopilot off once you're a bit closer and you can focus on the landing alright so at some point during the approach you want to turn the replay on so you can use an external program for this or you can just use the Microsoft Flight Simulator one. For the Microsoft Flight Simulator one, all you need to do is come to the settings, go to general options, then you want to come down to the developer section and turn developer mode on. Then go options and then you want to select the button that says uh, enable replay function. Apply and save, go back then you can exit the developer mode and then if you go to the top where the taskbar is you can see the replay function. Click on this and you want to start the recording, set a sequence location 
and then that's all you need to do so you can just close it down now and land and then once you've landed um, I'll get back to you on what you need to do next Okay, so we just come up on the runway here. Try and make it a smooth landing. A little bit low, that's fine. And it's, it's only a demonstration on how to redo a landing, so not looking for an amazing touchdown, but. Uh, 50, 40, 30, 20, there we go. 10, 5. Get a little bit of a uh, stutter from the sim there. And we'll just slow down, bring it to a stop, and then I'll show you what to do next. Right, there we go. So just bring up the replay here, stop it, and then you just want to play, and then pause the sim right so using the active pause then stop the replay close it and then unpause the sim and you're back to flying the approach what you can also do is you can put the replay to however far along you want so if we just uh, scroll along a little bit uh, you can see that we can put ourselves close to the runway or we can put it ourselves a bit further away and then same again, pause, and then stop the replay, and then we can continue. So after you've done this, you can just land and then redo exactly what you just did. 400, 200. And coming up for our 100. second landing here, try and make it very, very smooth and hope for, don't get another sim stutter. So 40, bring it down, 30, there's a touchdown zone, 20, flaring, 10, and oh there we go, that was very nice. Maintaining center line, perfect really. And we'll just bring it to a stop here on the runway. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future content. If there is any other tutorials or any other type of video you guys want to see, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, but I can't promise anything at the moment as I am still taking my exams. I'm now through the first week of them, so getting there, but still got quite a long way to go. Got another video coming out next weekend, so please make sure you check that out. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.